Hello and welcome to Let's Wander. In this episode, we'll be exploring the birth of England. And where else did it happen but the same place that I myself was born and my ancestors also lived, Kingston upon Thames in Surrey. So, with all of this being said, let's wander. The history of Kingston upon Thames is first recorded in 838 when King Egbert held a grand council in the town. Kingston is recorded in the Doomsday Book as having three fisheries. Now, you might notice on the coat of arms of Kingston there are three fish depicted, and these are salmon, and that's because it was mostly salmon fisheries that were on the Thames. It was also recorded as having five meals, because let's face it, what goes better together than fish and bread? Another reason why the river is important in the history of Kingston is because up until the 1700s and the building of the bridge at Putney, there were no crossings south of London Bridge other than Kingston. And there was a wooden bridge there, and that was there until about 1829, 1839, when the wooden bridge was deconstructed and the stone bridge was finished, and then tolls were introduced. Heading down towards the Rose Theatre, you'll come to the Clatton Bridge. Now, this bridge dates back to medieval times. Apparently, it's named after the sound that the horses' hooves were made as they went over the top of it. It's also debated as to whether it's the sound that the water makes as the stream rushes down towards Charter Quay, which is a very, very beautiful place with waterfowl and nesting sites for these amazing birds. But back in the day, this would have been the site of a lot of industry, such as tanneries. Now, these places like tanneries, they would be using a lot of horrible smelling substances like fetid urine and something called pure. And that's dog poo. The skins and pelts of animals that have been slaughtered would be stacked up after being soaked in this for weeks. They'd be stacked up and left there for the flies and the maggots and all the other little bugs to do their work. And then, after that process, it would be scraped clean and all of the hair removed. And all of this stuff was then flushed straight back into the Thames. Now you're probably wondering, when are you going to get to the part about the kings? Well, let's get on with that, shall we? Around the year 923, Athelstan united many different kingdoms of England. East Anglia, Mercia, Kent, Essex, Sussex, Wessex, all brought together to make one England. So the stone that we know as the Coronation Stone, which is outside of the Town Hall, which used to be the Guild Hall, is possibly the stone that the kings were crowned on. Nobody really knows if it was or not for sure, but it was found in the ruins of St Mary's Chapel, which is now the site of All Saints Parish Church. It's actually made of sarsen stone, which is the same stone that Stonehenge is made out of. So there is a chance that maybe there was an earlier stone circle or something on that site, which has then been built over by other religions, as they tend to do. So in 925 AD, Athelstan was crowned king of all England, from Kingston upon Thames. He was the first king to actually wear a crown. Before that, they were always presented with a shield or a ceremonial dagger, or even having a helmet placed upon their heads. But he was the first one to have a crown, and there are actually contemporary pictures from the time of him wearing that crown. And you know what? Sometimes when you reach the top of your game, you've just got to find some way of just pushing that a little bit further. So in 937, there was the Battle of Brandenburg, possibly one of the bloodiest battles that ever took place on British soil, and Athelstan defeated the Scots, the Celts, the Danes and the Vikings, all in one big battle. So Athelstan may have been the first king to be crowned in Kingston, but he certainly wasn't the last. There were another six kings crowned in Kingston after him. There was Edmund, Edred, Edwig, Edgar, Edward the Martyr, and finally, Athelred the Unready. So next time you're laying back thinking of England, why not think about Kingston upon Thames? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed our video about the birth of England and Kingston upon Thames. If you did, hit the like button, and why not subscribe to the channel and share the video and help us get word around about our wonders. You never know, I might see you out there one day on a wonder. So from me, Chris, this was Let's Wonder, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, bye, bye. bye.